Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying so far this the Salter's House Coaching Self-Worth Masterclass. We have been talking and trying to help you understand that you are valuable. You got to find how valuable you are. Once you discover that, a lot of your self-worth problems will go away. And we talked about that in the last chapter about those two words, identity and significance. Those are the two words that is the cause of why many people struggle with self-worth problems and self-esteem, okay? And for those of you too who um, can do me a favor, please like and subscribe. I really wanna help as many people I can, especially young people, and give you the information that can really help you and give you some tools that you don't have to go through life trying to figure this stuff out. Listen, many of us adults, we've been there, done that, my job is to try to help you avoid a lot of these things. And I'm, and one of the things I teach all my clients is when you change, everything else change. And this is the thing that ha ha has happened for me. So I'm just here just to be able to just try to encourage you and speak life into you to let you know, listen, you don't have to be walking around here with a lack of self-worth. You are amazing. And I just want you to be able to figure that out. You got to believe that you're amazing. And I know you may not think that you are. And the only thing that's that's stopping you from seeing it is that you are ignorant of how amazing you are. But when that thing is revealed... And when you can clearly see how amazing you are, trust me, you're going to be like, I don't, I don't need to compare myself. I don't need to worry about that. Everything inside you is going to change. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to provide some solutions for you so you can be able to take some of these things. And again, this masterclass, just so you guys know, um, I'm offering this free because I just want to, I want to help. I'm, this is not for no, um, I'm not looking for extra clients or anything like that. I have a good group that I work with. Um, again, but if you do want to be a part of my program, you can hit me up. I will definitely work with you, but I'm providing this because I feel a need to share and try to help as many young people and even adults who are struggling in this area. Because I think sometimes young people don't know that many people go through this, even when they're older. I know many people just if you're young and you're watching this, trust me, there is many people who are adults who are who are struggling with self-worth. Why are they struggling with this? Because they didn't have the tools. And this is what I'm trying to do is give you tools while you're young so you don't have to make a lot of the mistakes many of us has made as adults. So um, let me give you uh, we, in the last class, we talked about some of the causes I, I share with you about how identity was huge and how significance is, is huge. Now. In this particular one, in this particular class, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how some of the solutions. Now, there is a solution to every problem. This is something I had to learn through life. Um, there's, there is a solution to every problem. So uh, before the whole bullying thing took place. Now, just so you know, I'm in a place in my life now where I love myself. I love myself. I love exactly who I am. I love the color of my skin. I love everything about me. I love what I do. I love my career. I love my life. I love, I just, I love me. All right. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that was the missing piece. And the reason why I love me, it is not a conceited love. It's a love because I see myself through the eyes of my creator. I also now know what I'm here to do and I bring value to others. So I feel significant. And this is where I really want to help you in the area of the solution. You got to see where can I bring value? Where can I help other people? So in this particular one, I just want to give you a couple of things that you can start writing down in this mini master class to really help you be able to apply these tools to your life because many people, again, are struggling in the area of self-work. So the first thing I want to uh, share with you is that you got to know that you are different on purpose. You are different on purpose. Why am I saying that? Because many of you, you're looking at the thing that makes you different and you say to yourself, well, um, why am I like this? Why can't I be like this person? Why can't I be like this person's uh, or be a part of a family like theirs? Or why can't I have a body like hers? Or why can't I have um, the popularity like him? You start to look and you're starting to compare yourself with others. And I just want to talk a little bit in this uh, chapter about comparison. So in, in the solution category that we're going to be talking with, we're going to start off by talking about um, you don't, you, your, your need for comparison is going to have to change. 
You want to find your value because when you find your value, you're not going to have the need to compare. All right. So I always use the story. Um, I am a musician. Um, I teach music as well in my coaching program. So again, if you want to learn music, you can, you can sign up for that as well. But one of the things I've learned is being a part of a band. I've been playing with musicians for years. And one of the things I love about playing with a band is that you have a bunch of band members on stage and every member on the stage on their instrument, on their instrument, have a level of significance. They bring a level of significance and they are different on purpose. We all are playing one, uh, we're all playing one song, but we all have different parts that we are responsible for. And in a band, which is the very thing that has helped me to discover my purpose, which I'm going to talk about, is that once I got involved in playing music and saw the value I bring to the other musicians, that began to, that began to bring me a lot of esteem. That began to, um, actually boost my, uh, my confidence because I felt like, wow, I bring something to others. I help, I make others better. So that's when I realized, I said, well, my difference is actually a blessing. The thing that I have that's different from everybody else is what make me significant. So that's what I said here. You got to know your significance. So as you know, I started off on drums. I now play keys and other things, but I started off on drums. And I remember that as as the drummer, when I was playing, I was not comparing myself to the bass player. I was actually complimenting the bass player. I actually like to see the bass player do his thing. I actually can look at the bass player and actually, um, you know, support him and to try to do the best I can to make him sound good because he know his thing and I know my thing and we're both different, but we're on one team. When you see it from that perspective, you come into life different. You are here with something different. You are here with something unique and you want to find that. And this is what I help people do is to find your uniqueness and help you bring that to the team. All right. So if you can understand that you have something that you're different on purpose, that your difference is what makes you valuable. You want to find out what do I have that nobody else has. So I'll, I'll take myself as an example. I'm a musician and I and I, I, I teach, I do seminars, I speak, I'm a, I'm a preacher. I do all these different things. I'm a certified life coach. So in my company, Salter's House Coaching, I have a coaching company that helps people in the area of music and personal development. Now, why is that important is because I am different. So instead of me trying to have a business that looked like somebody else's, my business um, center around the thing that I am uniquely in. This is what I'm trying to say to you, that there is something you have. You got to look at the tools that you have and say, what do I have that can bring value? This can definitely help you in the area of self-worth. This is the solution. You want to see yourself as somebody who brings something different to the table. So when you go to school, Stop looking and trying to be like the other girls. When you go to school, stop trying to dress like the other boys. Be yourself. Have you ever noticed that the people that most people admire is the person who look different? Everybody, I mean, if you see a person at your school, they dress a certain way. They don't care what people say. They just, they confident in their own skin. Them the people that gets a lot of people admiration. You know why? Because they're different and they have learned to be different on purpose. So you are different on purpose. That's why you don't look like nobody else. You may resemble some people, but you don't look like everybody else. I mean, so take what you have and work what you have. Learn how to celebrate your difference. And I'm telling you, so if you start with that, that is going to be one of the number one things that's going to be a game changer for you in the area of self-work. So when I realize that nobody else can play drums like me, when I realize nobody else can play the piano like me, when I realize nobody else can talk like me or speak like me, I'm like, I don't have to be like somebody else. And let me say this real quick. I'm telling you this from experience because in, in the area of self-worth, it took me years to really get this thing because when I began to um, move into uh, public speaking, I felt very um, insecure at one point. And I'm going to tell you why. Is because this gentleman who is here helping you did not get a chance to walk walk across my 12th grade graduation stage. I failed 12th grade. And the reason why I failed 12th grade is because I failed English. English was a subject. I had a problem um, with words. I had a problem because I was just a class clown. Now, watch this. This guy here who was talking to you 
wrote two books. I was very intimidated to write those two books because English is not my main thing. However, something in this and this solution that I'm sharing with you about knowing your difference or being different on purpose is I begin to realize I don't have to write a book like everybody else. I can, I can be comfortable being me and helping people in the area of where I know I can help people and not worry about what everybody else is doing. So I wrote two books. I was trying to, you know, at one point try to do what everybody else did. I said, no, let me just do what, let me do me. And when I began to do that, guys, my first book sold out seven times. I began to travel, do seminars all over. And it seemed like people actually appreciated my simplicity. Even in this, you guys have heard me stumble over words. You have heard me probably not even use words correctly. I'm at the place now where I really don't care much. <laughs> I mean, I mean, trust me, I'm definitely trying to get better with my, with, I want to make sure I, I, I become more educated in certain things, but I'm not at this place where I need the appro approval of certain people. Oh, you got to do it this way. Listen, long as you get the point, I'm good. So that's me. And that's what I'm saying. You got to know your difference. You got to just be true to who you are. And that is going to start giving you the self-worth. So solution number one is know that you are different on purpose.